Garcia! Find the carriage! Is it dangerous? Edward. Hmm? Privateering. Is it dangerous? Wouldn't pay so nice if it weren't. Why not sail with the King's Navy? Earn a proper wage? Sail under gentlemen? Sod the Navy's gentlemen. For every shilling I'd earn, the captain gets 600. That's no way to earn a fortune. We don't need a fortune. It's not about need, Caroline. I want food that don't make me sick. I want walls that hold back the wind. I want a decent life. H how long would you be gone with these privateers? A year, I reckon. Two at the most. All right. No more than two. Promise me. <laughs> Was it good for you as well? Havana. I must get to Havana. Well, I'll just build us another ship, will I? I can pay you. Isn't that the sound you pirates like best? One hundred Eskudos. Keep talking. Will you or won't you? You don't have that gold on you now, do you?
<laughs> I'm on to you, Snigsby! Come on, mate. We're off to a bad start. It's a hundred leagues or more to Havana. Will you walk that distance? Where's he running to? Follow and I'll kill you! We could work together on this! Senor Duncan Walpole, I accept your most generous offer and await your arrival with eagerness. If you truly possess the information we desire, we have the means to reward you handsomely. Though I will not know your face by sight, I believe I can recognize the costume made infamous by your secret order. Therefore, come to Havana in haste, and trust that you shall be welcomed as a brother. Su más humilde servidor, el gobernador laureano Torres y Ayala. Mr. Walpole, let's collect your reward. Guno do me just fine. We're to commandeer this lover's ship and follow. So, sorry, uh... Can... No, no, our destination is Havana. I'm just a merchant. Quiet, you bleeding pirate! You'll hang for the mess you made out there! Sir, I had nothing to do with this attack. My crew and I have merely anchored to water and resupply. Hold it up! 
By God's grace, sir, you saved me. A profusion of thanks. Is that yours? It is my vessel, yes. But uh, here lies its poor captain, and I have no art for sailing. I can pilot her myself, no mind. You don't mean to abscond with my ship, do you? I'm Duncan. What's your name, friend? Steed, Steed Bonnet. Well, Mr. Bonnet, let this stay twixt us. But I'm on a secret errand for His Majesty the King, God save him, and I must get to Havana with speed. Ah, oh, that is a relief, sir. Havana is also my destination. Our ways lie together. Natural allies, then. Ah, oh, you put me at ease, sir. To think I took you for a pirate when you first appeared. Did you? Yes. You have an uh, uncommon way of handling yourself. Quick and easy, if I may say. Gave me quite a fright. But, all things considered, I think it's turned out to be a rather fortuitous day, hasn't it? Lacking a rowboat, I'm afraid we'll have to swim to my ship. Hardly the worst thing to happen. This is difficult. I should have taken the coat off. Duncan. She's a modest schooner, but well suited to my purpose, trafficking cargo from my plantation and such. She'll do fine. There's a strong wind now. Let's strike to full, shall we? Reef the topsails and gallant! Ah, there's a tug of the wind at my hair. Ah, I find a bracing comfort in the feel and smell of the ocean. <laughs> the raw stink of... of possibility. That's a top way of seeing it, mate. We've really opened it up now, haven't we? <laughs> Those sailors were quite animated by the idea of pirates roaming these waters. Is it a real danger, do you suppose? A possibility. But most pirates stalk the windward passage between Cuba and Hispaniola. Oh, I see. Yes, that is a bustling strait. But I shouldn't worry about being waylaid by pirates, truth be told. My ship is small, and I have nothing of immense value. Sugarcane in its yields, molasses, rum, that sort of thing. <laughs> There's not a pirate living who turned his back on a keg of rum. Well, yes. Yes, I suppose that's true. Reef it all top! Ground on every inch of sail! You're a natural sailor, Duncan. I did a decent trick at the helm some time ago. Two years before the mast as a privateer. Dash my buttons. Your life seems a grand one, if I may say. So full of adventure. How marvelous. I've seen my share of strangeness, I.
fantastic work. Very promising. Easy now. There you go. Welcome back. Well, your numbers look good. Now let's make sure we can break your brain, all right? I need you to move your head and look at these lights just here. Look up. That's it. Down. So far, so good. Let's get you up. So, welcome to the Sample 17 project. Before you get started, you're gonna need this. There you go. Testing, testing, one, two, three. Hello, bonjour. C'est bon? It works? All right, let's take a walk. Your file says you've done some memory research before, but not to this extent, which is surprising. You're very good. The data streams are very stable. I know, I know. I, I just... I've been spending too long. Impressive, right? This building is barely six months old, but Abstergo Entertainment has been a studio for a few years, since 2010. Chicago? Maybe you saw Liberation? That was our first title powered by Animus Tech. That was just the tip of the iceberg. Soon, we'll be unveiling commercial Animus servers for the whole world to enjoy. They'll offer passive experiences, of course. Edited versions of real history. But only the exciting parts. And we think we found the perfect subject for our first full-length virtual feature. Caribbean Pirates. So that's your gig. It'll just take a minute, okay? Well, thank you, Nancy. Bon journée. C'est bon. C'était prêt. Magnifique. Merci. This is for you. The primary tool of our trade. Your communicator. Power it up and give it a look. It's pretty slick. You might have noticed that security seems a little light around here. That's because your communicator is your key to getting around. You ready? Let's go. Ah, there's the boss, Olivier Garneau, our CCO. I'll introduce you. Bonjour. Salut, Mélanie. Ça va bien? Well, thanks. Have you met our new hire? Just started today. I haven't. Bonjour. What project? Sample 17, the Kenway line. Hey, them, Connor. Edward, the pirate. Ah, ar, yar, matey. <laughs> Very exciting. Welcome aboard. Uh, Melanie, can we talk in your office for a minute? Just let me get this one settled and I'll see you in five minutes. C'est bon. Nice to meet you. So, this is the Sample 17 floor. We're diving into the memories of one very generous donor, Desmond Miles. We're pulling all the best stuff from his DNA. And hopefully one day, we can forge some fantastic experiences from what we find in there. This pair of legs is John, one of the wizards in IT. He's just fixing something for you. Not fixing. Calibrating. Calibrating, right. So here we are, your very own Animus workstation. This is all yours, so sit back, relax, and find us some good footage. If you need any hints or tips, the Animus is loaded with tutorial programs, so you'll have no problems. And I'll check in on you later. Happy pirating.
Welcome to Animus Omega, Abstergo Entertainment's proprietary ancestral memory research tool. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns about how to operate your Animus console, please contact your project supervisor, Melanie LeMay. You have been registered as part of the Sample 17 project. Your primary research target is Edward James Kenway, born March 10, 1693, Swansea, Wales. Calibrations complete. All signs normal. All systems optimal. Extra neurotransmitters activated. Havana. I've been here once before. It was a truly awful pleasure. See someone you know? No, no, no. Just putting on a friendly face. I shouldn't want to be mistaken for a pirate again. Right. Flash rogue like yourself must be cautious. Yeah. Mad to think Spain and England were at war two years ago, isn't it? Here I am, bartering with Spaniards like they were my cousins. Nothing wrong, Duncan? No, it's nothing. Sand in my hampers. So where's the best squad in town? I'm dying for a quick kip. Or a siesta, should I say. Um, I'm just headed to uh, a public house now to meet some merchants. I could, I could show you the way. Well, lead on. I hope you'll tarry a bit while I conduct my meeting. It'd be a great relief to have a man of your stature nearby in case of a misunderstanding. I can hang about. I might have a drink. Spend it. <laughs> drink. <laughs> well, they don't take kindly to pirates here, do they? Wonder how many stolen reals bought these men this perch. Hola, ladies. You don't know these women, do you? No. They charge money for that kind of privilege. A few dozen reals for every hour of knowing. Keen to meet them? No. Goodness, no. I'm a, I'm a married man. Married man of their forte, mate. Aha! Here's a purveyor of personal defenses. <laughs> I should acquire a blade for myself, Duncan, just as you have. This rusty razor's nothing to admire. Even so, I appear a mere kitten walking so close upon you. Perhaps a small dagger would suit me. Let's see what he's selling. Maybe I'll buy a sword too. We'll both jump rank. Oh, we'll be quite the pair, you and I. Twin devils. <laughs> Lend us a few reals then. I did save your skin. Ah, uh, of course. Cheers. That's a better fit for me. How do you fare? I had only enough for a small knife, sadly. Still, it'll do in a pinch. Oh, puffer duff. I have led us astray, Duncan. Oh, no matter. I'll get us a better view. What are we looking for? Uh, My goodness, you're an agile chap. Every finger's a fish hook. That's how you tell a true sailor. <laughs> yes.
I think I see the place. We're not far. Hang tight. Go, go, what do I do? I can't breathe. Stop or I'll break your knees when I catch you. I'm close at heel, shitbird. You robbed the wrong man, mate. A fellow with dangerous friends. Duncan! By Jove, you're alive! Of course I am. That filch was no fuss. Oh, yes. <laughs> ah! We've arrived. <laughs> Take your time, I'll be just here. Vati meet no Welshman deep in Dago country. I'm English myself. Biding my time till the next war calls me to service. Lucky King George, having a piss pot like you flying his flag. Oh! Oi! Skulk! I've seen your face before. Use mates with them pirates down in Nassau. Shut your fucking gob or I'll fill it with shot, you hear me? <laughs> Edward, is it? Hey, I warned him. One more. Come on! Where are the Yes, it's soldado! You're not leaving me. I'll catch you up. Perro English. Carga de granito parada en el puerto esperando el granito. Es usted un canalla. Querría Sorry about the swift exit. Bit of a misunderstanding. One heaped upon another. Ah, oh, Jesus. I'm sorry, mate. This is my doing. I'm only trying to keep these Spanish eyes off me. Oh, it's no bother. Regrettably, the soldiers confiscated my sugar when your dispatches. Damn! And where have they gone? Haven't the foggiest idea, I'm afraid. I suspect those chaps might, but my Spanish is wee mal dad, so I'd, I'd rather not ask. Shit! 
All right, come on, let's follow them and recover my maps. And my sugar? What, in my drawers? We'll see what happens. You don't mind me tagging along, do you? Not if you keep quiet and stay out of sight. Bonnet! I believe I'm getting the hang of this! Quiet! I fear they're onto us! Hang back. Oh, perhaps we should split up to confuse them. It's the best idea you've had today. Buenos dias, senores. You're late. Yes, sir. See, si, uh, we are very sorry. Our captain delayed us. Domine, you nos non comeder en de virginibus This will be Captain Mendoza. Yes, sir. He must be present for a, a, a hanging, señor. Hanging? Oh, I love a good hanging. Yes, sir. Very nice. If we hear the bell, we may go, if you like. I'd love to. Especially if Captain Mendoza's pulling the trap. The man owes me money for the slaves I sold him. Of course, sir. Captain Mendoza is happy to pay you. We have goods to sell, sugars and such. Excellent. Detente! Started soon. Let's not dilly dally. Yes, sir. We go. Day for the captain. Quick as anything, sir. Captain Mendoza needs only to hang the man, then he will deliver your payment. I don't want reales, mind. I want goods. Things I can sell. Tobacco, rum, sugar. See, si, see. Si. We have much fine sugar. Crates we took off a fat Englishman last night. Englishman. Si. Sugar from Barrio. Very fine. We hold it in the Castillo. A fellow man started the fight last night. He ran. Left his sugar behind. Very fine. Well, that's a start. Shall I accompany him to the Castillo? 
No, sir. Captain Mendoza will have it sent to you, I believe. You will see. Good lord. Is that big brute your Captain Mendoza? No, sir. He is El Tiburón. El Tiburón, Governor Torres' man. No sé de dónde han salido, pero han conseguido redirigir todo el comercio de Ancona a sus ojos. Y vamos a alargarnos. Mi padre ¿Sí? ¿Seguro? ¡Cuenta más! Debería guardar las armas. Esto no es un campo de batalla. ¿Buscas una forma rápida de llegar al cielo? Voy a venir. ¡Alto ahí! ¡No estarás criando más! ¡Enemigo a tiro, señor! ¡Puedo darle! ¡Tengo línea de tiro! ¡No podrás despistarnos!
Sorry about the sugar. I've only one pair of hands. Oh, it's no great loss. Uh, I've got uh, plenty of cargo here to make a profit on my trip. Will you stay here long? For a few weeks, yes. Then back to Barbados, to the tedium of domesticity. Don't settle for tedium. Sail for Nassau. Live life as you see fit. <laughs> Haven't I heard that Nassau is crawling with pirates? Seems a very tawdry place. Not tawdry, liberated. Oh, God. That would be an adventure. But no. No, I'm a husband and a father. I have responsibilities. Life can't be all pleasure and distraction, Duncan. Hey, our bonnet. The name's Edward, in truth. Duncan's only a handle. Ah. Secret name for your secret meeting with the governor. The governor, right. I think I've kept him waiting long enough. Buenos dias, Mr. Duncan Walpole of England to see the governor. I believe he is expecting me. Sí, señor Walpole. Entre, por favor. ¿Ese es el hombre? El... ¿Cómo lo llamabas? ¿Asesino? Sí, Duncan Walpole. Debería haber llegado hace muchos días. No me gusta que los extranjeros se paseen por nuestra ciudad. No me fío de ellos. Cállate. El gobernador tiene invitados. Todos franceses e ingleses. Parece un hombre rudo. Le suponía un aspecto más... Lleva meses en alta mar. Sé indulgente con él. Good morning, sir. Would I be correct in thinking you are Duncan Walpole? I am indeed. I thought as much. Woods Rogers. A pleasure. The same. I must say, my wife has a terrible eye for description. I'm sorry? My wife. You met her some years ago at the Percy's Masquerade Ball. Ah. Quite. She called you devilishly handsome. Obviously a lie to stoke my jealousy. <laughs> <laughs> Julianne, our guest of honor has arrived, Mr. Duncan Walpole. Ah. <laughs> Julianne Ducasse. <laughs> I hope your conversion to our order is an honest one. I have no love for assassins, but even less for liars. I have not come to disappoint. <laughs> Up for a bit of sport, Duncan? The old man isn't ready just yet. You've got my two best pairs of matched pistols, Duncan. So handle them with care. If I had eight, I'd treat each as my own son. Pull off a few shots if you like. Get a feel for it. <laughs> I once fought beside a man who carried nine on his person. They were a boom in battle, but hindered his ability to swim. Sadly. <laughs> Quite. A good kick, yes? I long for the day where one firearm carries four bullets. Not the opposite. I have a friend in England you may like to meet, Julian. James Puckle. He's working on something extraordinary. Magnifique.
Duncan. Where are your wrist blades? I've never seen an assassin so ill-equipped. Ah, damaged sadly beyond all repair. Uh -huh. Have your choice. Where did you find all these? <laughs> I did not find them. I took them. These are souvenirs. <laughs> Two blades, as is the custom, we? Oui? Custom, I. Duncan, will you indulge us with a demonstration of your... Techniques. Well, I... Uh... You must. We put together a training course in anticipation of your arrival. It would be a shame to leave here without seeing you in action. Yes, of course. Well, I mean, if there is time, I would gladly, uh... show you what I know. Here. You see? Situations well suited to your skills. Have a go! A blade in a crowd is always the simplest. Nothing grandiose. Just quick and clean. Show us another technique. Quite ingenious to use bales of hay for cover, don't you think? God, that's the spirit! Secrecy. The advantage of surprise cannot be overstated, isn't that so? Especially around a blind corner. God blind me, that's a clever trick. Your aerial kills have a poetic beauty, despite their conspicuous quality. Would you show us? Magnifique. Is it also possible to deliver a killing blow at high speed? Don't use such a powerful strike. Fascinating. The assassins have trained you well, Duncan. You chose a perfect time to leave them behind. At great risk, I imagine. Betraying the assassins is never good for one's health. Well, neither is drinking liquor, but I am drawn to its dangers all the same. And what is your business here, sir? Are you an associate of the Governor's, or a pending acquaintance like myself? Guns, blades, cannons, grenados... <laughs> Anything that may kill a man, I am happy to provide. A smuggler of sorts. And how is your wife these days, Captain Rogers? Is she, uh, here, in Havana? I trust she's well, but I wouldn't know. I've been in Madagascar some 14 months hunting pirates. It took some work to dislodge the criminals there, but we managed it. In future, I hope to use these same tactics throughout the West Indies. And how did you deal with that kind? Very simply. Most pirates are as ignorant as apes. I merely offered them a choice. Take a pardon and return to England penniless, but free men. Or be hanged by the neck until dead. Oh. I imagine Nassau would be your next target. Very astute, Duncan, indeed. Best of luck with that. Grandmaster Torres! Mr. Duncan Walpole has arrived. See, si. You were expected one week ago. Apologies, Governor. My ship was set upon by pirates. We were scuttled. I arrived only yesterday. Unfortunate. Forgive my caution, but were you able to salvage from these pirates the items you promised me? Uh, yes, sir. I was. Incredible. The assassins have more resources than I had imagined, but not nearly enough to deter us. It is a pleasure to meet you at last, Duncan. You are most welcome. Come, gentlemen. We have much to discuss.
Convened at last, and in such continental company. England, France, Spain, citizens of sad and corrupted empires. But you are Templars now, the secret and true legislatures of the world. Please, hold out your hands. Mark and remember our purpose. To guide all wayward souls till they've reached a quiet road. To guide all wayward desire till impassioned hearts are cooled. To guide all wayward minds to safe and sober thought. By the Father of Understanding's light, let our work now begin. Decades ago, the Council entrusted me with the task of locating in these West Indies a forgotten place our precursors once called the Observatory. See here. Look upon these images and commit them to memory. They tell a very old and important story. For two decades now, I have endeavored to locate this Observatory, a place rumored to contain a tool of incredible utility and power. It houses a kind of armillary sphere, if you like. A device that would grant us the power to locate and monitor every man and woman on Earth, whatever their location. Only imagine what it would mean to have such a power. With this device, there would be no secrets among men. No lies, no trickery. Only justice, pure justice. This is the Observatory's promise, and we must take it for our own. Do we know its whereabouts? We will soon. For in our custody is the one man who does, a man named Roberts, once called a sage. It has been 45 years since anyone has seen a true sage. Can you be sure this one is authentic? We are confident he is. The assassins will come for him. Indeed they will. But thanks to Duncan and the information he has delivered, the assassins won't be a problem for much longer. All will be made clear tomorrow, gentlemen, when you meet the sage for yourselves. Until then, let us drink. Let us find the observatory together. For with its power, kings will fall, clergy will cower, and the hearts and minds of the world will be ours. Rest well, Duncan. Tomorrow the treasure fleet arrives, and with it, your reward. After which we will discuss further schemes. I look forward to it. Excelente. Meet me down at the docks first thing tomorrow morning. Governor Torres requests your presence at the docks near the Castillo. First thing tomorrow morning. Good morning, Duncan. Just over here. Edward! Hello, Edward! I found a man to purchase my remaining sugar! Huh? Quite a coup, I must say! He just called you Edward. Oh, that's the merchant who sailed me here. Out of caution, I gave him a false name. Ah, well done. We'll catch up on it later. Very punctual, Duncan. This way. Here he is. A man both Templars and Assassins have sought for over a decade. I am told your surname is Roberts. Is this so? You recognize this, I think. According to old tales, the blood of a sage is required to enter the observatory. We have the key. Now we need only its location. Perhaps Mr. Roberts will be eager to provide it. Transfer him to my residence.
such a fuss over one man? Is the observatory really such a grand prize? Si, sin duda. The observatory was a tool built by the precursor race. Its worth is without measure. Precursor race? I see. One of your early letters mentioned a desire to kill the Mayan mentor, Atabai. Were you able to carry out this contract before coming here? I... I was not, no. Too many complications along the way. A pity. But the maps you delivered with the blood vial will see that job finished. Aye. That's the idea. I don't like this route, Torres. We're exposed. Something is wrong. Stay close, Grandmaster. I feel it too. Do not let them get their hands on the sage, at whatever cost. Assassins! Above! They're on the rooftops! Watch the street and alley. They could be anywhere. A nimble one, I'll give you that. <laughs> Hang back and make this easy on both of us, mate. Cap you. Well done, lapdog. Quiet. We'll see him to the prisons, Grandmaster. Double the watch. Well, I'll be buggered. What an active day we've had, gents. See, si, set on all sides by our enemies, we must be more cautious. I do wish I could remain to see our drama done, but I must avail myself of these winds and sail for England. By all means, Captain, speed and fortune to you. <laughs> with luck, I'll return myself a governor. And with my idiot king's blessing, no less. Adios. As for you, Mr. Walpole, I consider this the first payment in a long-term investment. Gracias. Obliged. I would like you to be present for the interrogation tomorrow. Call around noon. Yes, sir. Toast. 
God, shink me for this pittance. One thousand reals for those maps. That's what? A hundred pound at most? How's a man supposed to become rich in these times with a miser like Torres running the world? Have you ever, um... you ever worked on a plantation before? You know what I'm thinking? I'd like to see this observatory the governor is going on about. He said it were like a device that could follow people around and show where they were. <laughs> a ludicrous idea. Imagine my wife with such an advantage over me. And imagine what a thing like that would be worth. Sell that to the right person and I'd be the richest pirate privateer in the West Indies. I'll catch you up, Bonnet. There's a sage in that house I must speak to, in private.
Para! Justo en la mira. Es mío, no escapará. Tengo línea de tiro. ¡Está a tiro! ¡Lo tengo justo en la mira! ¡Basta ya! What is your true name, Rogue? It's a... <sighs> Captain Pissoff. Rien que pauvre Pizzo. Where is the sage? Did you set him free? I had nothing to do with that. Much as I wish I did. Take him to the ports. Send him to Sevilla with the treasure fleet. Oh, wait now! I delivered your treasures, didn't I? You did, yes. But you robbed us of Duncan Walpole. <laughs> a despicable display. This Tuspart is a ruined man, Caroline. Unfit for life on land, much less at sea. If he goes to the West Indies, it's you who'll suffer. Father! Father! Come, love. Up with you now. That old muckworm! He's wrong about me! I hope it's so. You believe me, don't you? Can you not see me? Standing out there on the deck of a ship that's sliding into port. And there I am, a man of quality. With a thousand doubloons spilling from my pockets. Like drops of rain. I can see it. La cena. Cometela rápido. You hungry? Now what's your plan, mate? Find my weapon and steal a ship. Que Dios nos ayude. Parece que se está desviando al oeste, hacia el Golfo. Quizá. Oh. 
Soldier. Unlucky lad. Christ, the seas are uneasy today. We're stealing a bridge. Hey, take what you need. Won't be a minute. There's many prisoners held on these ships. Set them free, and they'll sail with us, no question. So that's the idea, then. Free what men we can, then find a fast ship to flee in. Aye, there's a brig in this fleet. I'll make my way to it. There's a catch to this favor. You're sailing with me. I follow you to hell for this, mate. Come on, lads. If we're to drown today, it won't be here. There's a brig nearby just waiting for us to take her. Get 
Voy a ir a lo más alto. Esto es una locura. ¡Alto ahí! ¡Tú, vuelve aquí ya! ¡Venga, puto! ¡Ah! ¡Ay, no! ¡Deja de retorcerte, pirata! ¿Me entiendes? ¡No te muevas! We're going topside. Be ready. Lads, save your singing for Davy Jones, you jagabats. It's a hard wind coming. The man speaks true. You lot weigh anchor. As for the rest, half on the foremast and half at the main. Let's outrun this hurricane. Keep watch on those galleons. See they don't give us trouble. They won't. Far too slow for this way. Fire! Brace yourselves for cruising! Oh, fancy a wee swim, do you? <laughs> Let's go! Bark any orders you think wise, mate. We're up against it here. These men know their place. They'll see us home. Incoming fire! Race! It's not looking good. Steady as she goes, man. Look up. The sea rises against us.
Not far now, Captain. By God, we pulled this one straight from the teeth of Neptune. I'm Edward. Much thanks for your aid back there. Adewale. You ever been to Nassau, Adewale? Not yet. By God, she took some knocks, didn't she? I think I'll keep her. All hands aft, lads! We're taking this one home! I've made my choice, Addy. I'm calling her the Jackdaw. A sly bird I loved as a child back in Swansea. A dark little creature, no? Did it rub you wrong when I took this brig as mine own? <laughs> it was the sort of rub I have learned to enjoy, sailing among faces of such fairness. It's true. Most of these men wouldn't accept you as a captain. So what fair role would complement such unfairness? I'll be your quartermaster. Nothing less. All right. And as quartermaster, have you any immediate counsel for this Tyro captain? Rest and repast would do us good before Nassau. Water for drinking. Hunting for food and repairs. Well reasoned, sir. Hunting, it shall be. We'll find a decent place to drop anchor. Despite a few items in the hold earlier, powder and a few pistols, I think I'll fashion a second holster if I can. <laughs> it's a good start. One you find laughable. Could we talk a moment about the condition of the ship? What's the trouble? I had a walk about the gun deck this morning and couldn't stand for what I saw. A clutter of linstocks heaped like tinder, and one with a slow match still burning. Christ. And just nearby, two barrels of gunpowder, closer than man and wife. Fit to explode at the touch of a spark. We'll stow ours good and proper. As for the cannons, they might as well be tossed. Clogs touch holes in need of scraping, corrosion on the bodies, barrel swabs as naked as knives, and breech ropes so rotted, I could use them for knitting yarn. The short of it is, we need good equipment kept in fine condition. But we cannot win every battle with snares and shouts. So worry about your own armaments when it suits you. But don't forget about your jackdaw as well. No, indeed. We'll make it a point to keep this ship and its crew in fine condition.
Ahoy, Captain. Find what you need. My needs and wants are oceans apart, mate. But I did fashion myself a new holster. All I need now is a pistol to lie in it. Yeah. Taken from the holds, just as you said. Little more than a blowpipe. But it'll do. So, are we rested? Or should we idle a while longer? Best way, Anchor. I think the crew is itching to reach civilization. You'll find no civilization in NASA. But it's a fine place to be merry all the same. Captain Queer Nubs, tell me I'm under arrest. Tell me! Damn your breads. Fly away, boyo, back to your master. Aye, we was privateers together before the wars ended. I'll see you ashore. By God, you're a sight for salty eyes. Come you in and have a drink. Morning, all. Oh, I can't wait. Who's this? Adewale, the Jackdaw's quartermaster. Jackdaw. <laughs> you named your brig after a poxy bird. Ade, these lads are the better part of our growing confederacy here. Ed Thatch, Ben Hornigold, James Kidd. You let him carry a pistol, do you? Peace, Ben. Ade saved my life. And now we're looking to find a crew to fill out the rest of my ship. Well, there's scores of capable men about. We use caution. A shipload of the King's sailors showed up a fortnight back, causing trouble and knocking about like they own the place. All right. I'll see who I can muster. Send any men you find to the jackdaw. I'll put them to work. Cheers, Ade. <clears throat> One way or another, you'll come, dog. <clears throat> Wouldn't know a windlass from a cup of gun. From the deep there, Captain. Jack thanks you hardy. Turn around. <laughs> oh, get him. <laughs> oh, <sir>. <laughs> 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 
I've got a clear shot. I yield, Master. Please be quiet. Let me make it back down. Got to lie down, Doc. Kenway, come fast! The soldiers have kept a man in irons. They mean to hang him. This pirate bears the blood of many innocent. Oh, I've got a lovely clear shot. I've got to hide. <laughs> Bless your timely britches, Kenway. You're not wanted here. Now you'll want to sail somewhere rich with plunder. Have you heard of a place called the Observatory? Aye. It's an old legend, like El Dorado or the Fountain of Youth. What have you heard? It's meant to be a temple or a tomb, hiding a treasure of some kind. That's it. You see here. <gasps> oh, oh, rot. It's fairy stories you prefer to gold, is it? It's worth more than gold, Thatch. Ten thousand times above what we could pull off any Spanish ship. Robbing the king to pay his porpoise is how we earn our keep here, lad. It ain't a fortune. It's a fantasy.
men can we? Not a bad looking tinder box you got there. You sound a bit green, horny gold. Is it envy? Because mine's bigger than yours. No, I reckon it's this Jamaican funk. I prefer the Spanish stuff. So, you've got yourself a fancy brig now. Fine. Well, I'm gonna teach you how to sail all right. And how to take a prize the proper way. Thatch, we'll catch you up at the old fishing village. Aye. Right. Where's your helmsman, Kenway? I take pride in piloting my own ships, Ben. Keeps me alert. Let's make some headway, shall we? I've no need for schooling. How many prizes did we take together as privateers? <laughs> There's a chasm of difference between joining a raid and captaining one. We're looking out for merchants, boys! Them that's fat with cargo! There's a prize worth taking. Good. Take us in close. After you subdue a prize, project authority and demand respect that you would never give yourself. This weaves a spell over soft minds. For your victims must always have in the back of their minds the uneasy idea that you could snap at any moment and unseam them from prick to sternum. She's disabled now and taking on a decent amount of water. So keep your cannons quiet. Take care not to sink her. Que tengo un buen día, señor. I am Captain Hornigold, and this is my crew. We're sailors like yourselves, but quite unalike in our purpose. For we intend to take all that you own. Yet no harm shall befall any man so long as he remains at ease. Is that clear? No me mate, señor. Tengo familia. Se lo suplico. Anyone speak English? English? Little bit. Tell your friends we're stealing your goods. And we won't hurt nobody if everyone stays as still as a sandbar. You got that? Uh, uh, please do repeat. Oh, for fuck's sake. Lock them in the hold and take everything that isn't nailed down. shaky feeling sailing about with this much stolen cargo. Get used to it. We'll need to take a few more prizes to make this a profitable day. Fire! Ready to oh, bolt, sir! Fire! Enemy making for us, sir! Hold in the sky! 
done so! Ready to fire, sir! Brace sir. yourself! Lose the captain! Good take today, can we? Half a dozen scores of that size and you'll be set for a year. Now let's sell this cargo and fix up your jack door with a... Overboard. ¿Puedo ayudarlo con algo? satisfactorio. ¿Necesita algo? Not a bad take today. Keep this up and Nassau will be the first city where men and women may live as God made them. 
Easy and free. All it takes is a few drops of blood, sweat, and a swatch of cloth. We fly no colors out here, but praise the lack of them. So let the black flag signal nothing but your allegiance to man's natural freedoms. This one's yours. Fly it proud. I will. I hand over the docket I lent you. If we're to keep our Republic afloat, we'll need guns as well as gold. That means attacking the Navy. So long as they're flying King Philip's colors will not offend our own monarch. As you've likely seen, the number of merchants roving these waters is three score the number of military ships. Aye, easy purchase, but in small doses. Right. So to lure the Navy out of hiding, it's best to cause a bit of mischief. Catch a few small fish to attract the big ones. That's right. So plunder and pillage as you see fit, Captain Kenway. Down to the drink! Crowd on every inch of sail! Loose tops! The angle run. Cannon ready! Fire! Down to the ship, can we? Fire! 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 Oh, 
should have struck your colors. Now you ah. are to die. Ah. Ease off the wind! Hold down 
Ireland blew up. Burn those men. Get the men. Dropping mines would curb her ability to ram us. Race for impact! Angle run. We're ready, sir. Fire! Yeah! Not alone, sir. Fire! Sounds exposed. Make it fair, Captain. Ready to jump and land some mine there. She's got a lot in it.
That was a rumble, by God. How do we fare? A fine purchase, no mistake. Now, I think it's time to lay low and bribe our way back into secrecy. Agreed. So, how do we get rid of this notoriety we've stirred up? Money, my boy. A well-placed bribe to the right government official to see the military off your tail. Right, let's do that. I'll need to meet these good Samaritans at some point. Smart thinking. Otra vez debes el jefazo de esto, ¿verdad? Hey, friend. Want to go low profile?
You're a wonder, Kenway. You've a knack for this kind of work. It ain't work if you love it. Ah, ah, Todd. But I ain't doing this forever, lads. Only until I get enough coin to buy some land and influence back home. <laughs> Jesus, will you listen to your tripe? Still dreaming on about that strumpet back in England when you could have any better you wanted here and now. Ah, such lofty goals for you gents. And here I thought I was in the company of scoundrels. Fine purchase today. What's the crew's mood? All smiles and no teeth. And there's a few talking about meeting with Master Kid to steal from a nearby plantation. Plantation? That's ambitious. Profitable too, if we can manage it. Aye. It's a good idea. 